Hey everyone, this video will help you get the most out of your integration between Schoology and Writable. So this is a great video if you are thinking about making writable assignments inside Schoology, and then you're having you're going to have your students access those writable assignments inside Schoology, and then you're also going to grade in Writable and see those grades show up in your Schoology gradebook. So let's go ahead and get started. I am in um, one of my courses here. And um, I'm just going to go and where you would always make a new assignment in, in um, Schoology, I'm going to go to Add Materials in that course. And once your district has installed Writable, you'll see um, that we show up as an external tool over here. I'm going to click on Writable, and that opens up a little gateway or a window into Writable. So this is basically just pulling up your My Assignment screen from inside Writable. I have gone ahead and prepped something in Writable that I want to use with my students. So I can just click on it. And as always, I can choose all my different feedback settings. Um, in this one, I'm going to turn on um, self-review and revision aid, which is one of our AI um, feedback programs or products. And I'm going to click select assignment. So that basically is all you have to do. By doing that, um, I've made an assignment a writable assignment right inside of Schoology. If I launch it, this is a great way just to have a bookmark into the teacher dashboard in Writable. So anytime I wanna see how my students are progressing, I can open up that link right from inside Schoology. I can start to see how many students are turning in work, how their reviews are going. Um, I can also start to see um, the, the roster and, and sort of grade from this view. So that's, in a nutshell, how I make an assignment. The other thing you'll notice is that when I've done that in this classes area inside Writable, just by making that assignment, I've imported my roster. So that will import by just making your first assignment to make sure that your roster and your assignment stay in sync. The other tip is the first time that you come through and make a Writable assignment in Schoology, you'll be shown the option to connect a Google or Microsoft account. So make sure you do that. Um, it's, it just helps bring your assignment list together. It will help um, enable Google specific features that we have. Um, your students will also be asked one time to connect that Google or Microsoft account. So just make sure that you advise them to do that as well. Hey everyone, this part of the video is gonna focus on the student experience. So once a student gets a writable assignment assigned to them in Schoology, they can go into their course, and um, here they see the, the Writable assignment show up. They can just launch right from their Schoology course into Writable, and this will kind of auto-log them in. I like to advise my students to go full screen with this button up at the top right, just to give them a little bit more working area. Um, but this is the Writable um, dashboard, so it'll kind of guide them through their reading and writing goals and then their review goals if they have any. They can, um, in this case, they're going to read Call of the Wild, and they're working on, um, you know, kind of sensory language and imagery in this text, which is full of it. And um, they can always open up their check and submit tab and kind of see what their checklists are advising them to do. Um, and they don't have to finish this all in one sitting. They can, just like a Google Doc, it'll save as they write. So the student would start writing here. This writing area can also be an embedded Google Doc if you like to have them use um, a lot of Google Docs in your classroom. When they're ready to get some feedback, they click Submit. And that's all there is to it. Now, um, this is going to be ready for you as a teacher or some peers to give feedback on. Okay, hey everyone, the last piece is how do I grade and get my grades back into the Schoology gradebook? So here I am, and I have a link to a writable assignment in Schoology. And I'm just going to see, this will bring up the teacher dashboard. So again, good little bookmark into what's going on in my class. If you want to monitor progress early on, I can see here about 50% of writing has been turned in and there's some good revision starting. Um, I can go see at the bottom of my roster and kind of see how our AI has scored them, how, how maybe peers have scored them. So it's kind of my cheat sheet into how the assignment's going. So I'm going to go ahead and grade the paper. And um, I'm going to start grading. So this is a student that's just submitted that Jack London assignment. And, um, you know, you can use our highlighting tools to grade and kind of tie um, tie comments to the rubric. So say this one is about um, 
add more relevant examples from the text. I'm going to use pink for that so it'll go into my into my um, my relevant and evidence rubric, part of the rubric. I'm just going to quickly grade and then I'm going to submit that grade. As soon as I click submit, um, let's see here, I've given this student a 78%. So if I head over to the gradebook in Schoology, I will see that, you know, again, it's going to round up to 78%, but basically here is that assignment, the, jet, the sensory analysis from Jack Wendon. Um, it's in the classwork category, and I've given this student a 77%. So that's how your scores will sync. If they don't sync right away, um, make sure you have a category set for your gradebook. So go back to your assignment and make sure, let's go back to our assignment and just make sure that my grading settings are set up correctly. So if you go into the edit tab in this assignment, you can see enable grading is turned on and I do have a grading category set. Sometimes if you don't have a grading category set, the score has nowhere to go. So make sure there is a category set um, so that that writable score can show up in your Schoology gradebook. Thanks.